Hey guys, it's the Ghost with Ghost Productions again. Um, another Backtrack 5 tutorial. A lot of people have been asking how I record my desktop and how everything is set up. Um, I use Record My Desktop, but I use the GTK version of it. Uh, GTK Record My Desktop. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it and how to configure it so you don't have any lag time or anything like that. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go, it's already in the repository. Type in uh, apt dash get install and then gtk dash record my desktop and you hit enter and it will install the packages once it's installed all you have to do is go down here go to multimedia and then go to gtk record my desktop I already have a version of it running and you could actually start another instance don't know how that would work out for you but here's some things that you want to do you want to go to advanced you want to go ahead and leave this where it is um, go to performance drop down your frames per second to 15 um, this is pretty good quality as you can see all my videos are great quality um, turn all of these off and this is just this is just to make everything run faster and make sure there's no lag. So I suggest doing 15 frames per second and then turning all these off. Go to sound. Yours will be set up as default. Um, what you want to do is open the terminal terminal and go to a sound dash l. Oh, a play. A play. A play dash sound. And it shows that the card is zero and the device is zero here. You may have one, two, two or three more. Um, I have one right now because the uh, sound card didn't install correctly and I'm not really interested in installing, you know, other sound cards or whatever. So this one is zero, zero and the sub devices you don't really have to worry about just where it says card zero and it says device zero you know this is hardware zero zero and this is how I got this um, hardware needs to be hardware colon zero um, comma zero because that's what device I'm going to be doing my recording on leave it on channel one twenty two oh five zero and uh, just to touch base with this again, it will not record unless you have the right one installed. And you know that's my playback device, uh, as I went into Aplay-L. So whatever your playback device is, the number, you need to type it in exactly like it says here. And then go to miscellaneous and leave the display. You want to have uh, this option checked and you want to have tooltips checked just so you can see my tooltips like this one right here. And that's pretty much it for configuring uh, everything together um, I do save as and I save the video every time where I want it to be what I want it to be and I have it saved in my tutorial folder um, go ahead and exit out of this another thing that you need to do is you need to go down here go to mixer go to settings go to configure channels and you need to pick whatever channels you have and you need to move them over here once you move them over here and click OK you'll be able to see them here select capture and then I set it up like this so you can have good sound um, when I'm doing the tutorials after that you're pretty much good um, and you'll be able to record all you have to do is there's a little stop button right here you can right click and it'll pause I'll show you see how I paused the video and I opened up a folder um, I pause it for about 10 seconds. All you have to do is right click and it'll pause. If you click left click, it will stop it and it'll start compiling it. Um, after it compiles, it'll save and you're gonna. It's gonna be an Ogvorbis format. It being an Ogvorbis is not an issue, but uh, if you want to upload to YouTube, it's not gonna be that great. So you want to make it uh, AVI. And the best way to make it AVI is to have another utility uh, to download. It's called DVD and it's self-explanatory just go through DVD and uh, and convert the file uh, the way you get DVD is same thing you'll do app-get 
and it's not in here so we'll do apt dash get install de ve de and that's it once it installs you can go to your multimedia and you'll find dvd right there and then you can go ahead and start uh start converting so I hope this helped you guys out. Maybe you guys will do some start doing some screencasting. Um, let me know if this video helped you out. Any, again, this is the Ghost of the Ghost Productions, and I'll talk to you guys later on.